right, Zul Tojo. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for yeah. joining us once again. And uh, when you talk about the film, what needs to happen for a film is for it to gain traction mm -hmm. and for people to go watch the movie. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think this is going to appeal to the Malaysian crowd? You said your research is based on uh, consumers and you see a lot the hijab trend uh, making its way into Malaysia and it's a big thing now. Do you think people are going to uh, flock uh, cineplexes to watch this movie? Okay, uh, we, we, we're very confident that people can relate to the movie because uh, the hijab and as well as the, the ballet is only a vehicle. The real thing that people will say about a personal struggle Everybody has got a personal struggle. Everybody has got impossibles they want to achieve. So this is about that story. So that's the reason being that I think the movie can be appealing to a lot of people. Right. I, I mean, in Malaysia, it's very easy to see the trends and what people like here. Like mm -hmm. Ombak Rindu became a success because mm -hmm. it was, you know, was so sweet to the point mm -hmm. no one would get diabetes. And that's mm -hmm. what people like. Okay. Now, having said that, do you have elements like this within the movie? Okay. Uh, when we started the movie, we we sort of like uh, have a certain what do you call that uh, an agenda or rather uh, uh, an ideology that when we want to make a movie, we have to look from the perspective of the box office films. Mm -hmm. So what we did was we watch a lot of box office films, international and local, the the, the, the movies that 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 hit the box office in Malaysia. We dissect it. We watch it, we, we, we stop and pause in every minute and we watch it many, many times. And surprisingly, we see uh, there is a lot of common denominators between all box offices' films, mm -hmm. irrespective of languages, that they have a common standard storytelling technique. Right. So what we did, we take that, we adapt it, and we put it in our movie. So well, what you're trying to say is we're not as complicated as we think we are. It's, yeah. so, it's so easy to, to be able to ascertain what we like. Uh, because if you can see this as uh, a standard storytelling, uh, what do you call it? Hey, what is the standard storytelling? Okay, just to give you an example, say, for instance. Yeah. Just to give you an mm -hmm. example. If you watch um, Diwali, okay. if you watch Star Wars, mm -hmm. if you watch uh, Ombak Rindu, you see that the protagonist's goal is impossible to achieve. It's possible to achieve. You see in Ombak Rindu, say for instance, you see Isa. She wants to be a normal staza, works in uh, works the kampung, and uh, helping Kak Beda in her grocery store and so on. But the next moment, she is under under the the the, the very brutal gang who puts her into in, become a prostitute. Mm -hmm. Impossible for her to be a kamar staza. Right. The same thing as Gladiator. The same thing as uh, uh, Dilwale. Mm -hmm. So when we see that, so number one, we say. You must have an impossible goal. So there, there are a lot of other rukun or tenet, tenets over there. So we just applied. I mean, we have that tenets in. So we just translate into our movie. Mm -hmm. So from which that, we believe that storytelling, in terms of storytelling, it can appeal and it can be compelling to the audience. Right. What we're we doing right now, in even next week, we're going to have a, a test. We're going to put the movie which is predominantly in Bahasa Malaysia, 80% in Bahasa Malaysia. We're going to screen it at uh, one university, which have a lot of foreign, foreign students, and we are not going to put any uh, subtitle on it. Mm -hmm. And we want them to watch it, and we want to ask them whether they understand it. Right, which brings about the next question. Do you think it will uh, pick up with regards to non-Malays or non-Malay Muslims watching the movie? Uh, non-Malay Muslim would have a, a greater appeal. Mm -hmm. Non Malay, uh, non or non just non Malays, whether they're Muslims or not. Okay, non non Malay, non -ma non Malays. Mm -hmm. it, it depends on on how they relate things. Mm -hmm. Okay, if we talk about the non Malays international, say for instance, they would want to know about hijab, perhaps. Then they that could give them that uh, that give them curiosity to know more about hijab that they would want to watch the movie. All right, but uh, here when we talk about it non malays and it depends on their understanding and their perceptions on the hijab itself then only we can know whether it can appeal to them mm -hmm. because we have done our tests we have done uh, the non malays non malays non muslim who like the movie very much because he can adapt or rather he can relate to the movie because of the personal struggle the, the other person could not relate it so it depends on the orientation of a person as well mm -hmm. So that's, that's, uh, that's what we think. Uh, we, as long as we'll be able to go into the depth of the story and look into the spine of the story and they'll be able to relate it to their self, then 
they can see what's in it for them then only they can appreciate it mm -hmm. in terms of uh, watching the movie and mm. uh, you critiquing yourself All right. are you happy with what you've seen uh, yes I am Although you sound like you're forcing yourself to say that, <laughs> because there, there are certain things which is a lot more to, to be desired. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, because we, we are putting ourselves, uh, we are putting our films to a lot of people. We we have done a focus group. We have done a few sessions of focus group. Uh, okay, I give you an example. Say, for instance, the, f the first act of the movie is always giving informations. All right, giving informations. When you want to give information, when you do not have enough experience of putting everything. A lot of information setting the stage so to speak yes mm -hmm. in a very short time then you can find that it is not as smooth as you you want it, uh, as much as you desire right all right you can go there and do like what Hollywood did 50 uh, five minutes very smooth you can go uh, even Korean cannot do that Korean can do it in 20 minutes but it's quite very smooth we might not be able to do that yet so that's if you said I'm forcing myself because of that better. But from the act to for, uh, forward, we don't have any problems on mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So we have a little bit problem on that. When does this movie release? Um, perhaps early next year. Early next year. Early next year. So you, you, it's going through its trials. It's going through its previews. Yeah. Feedback. Mm -hmm. You know, all this feedback. What, mm -hmm. Are you going to change things in the movie? You can't. Uh, because we are, we are doing research on it. Mm -hmm. we, we don't really change it, but we see from the feedbacks on how we can make it um, uh, more appealing to people. Mm -hmm. I mean, movie is not about the actions. Movie is about sound. Movie mm -hmm. is about, about the editing. Right. A lot of people say that it's very hard to make a movie in Malaysia because there's just too many guidelines. Like you said, no, you get Jakim telling you something, uh, then the, the Ballet Association tells you something, someone else tells you something. It's always the case in Malaysia. And it, we always have to end with a good message. We can't leave it hanging like that. Is that a problem for you? No, because cre uh, constraint begets creativity. Mm -hmm. You have got constraints, only that you try to find a solution. That's where you become creative. Mm -hmm. Because ev if everything is open up to you and then you don't have to do anything, you just copy people. Constraint makes you uh, create. Mm -hmm. So the constraints, the reg regulations and the guidelines give us avenues to, to become more productive and to become a creator. Right. So the more constraints or, or the more hurdles that are put in front of you, the better your, pro your, your movie or your program should that's, be. That's what our, our aim is. That, that, yeah. that's, that's your yeah. aim. Now, yeah. uh, with the movie, uh, mm -hmm. very quickly before we end, uh, tell us a little bit about the cast of the movie and uh, okay. uh, the people involved in helping okay. you make this a success. Okay, uh, in terms of the cast, we, we, take ga we, we gamble with uh, new stars. All right, mm -hmm. because uh, this movie is about ballerina. So it's very difficult to have an actor and also to teach them to ballet. So it's much easier to have ballerina. And teach them how to act. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also uh, because we are, we are looking into the storytelling very much and we are also taking uh, actors who, have, who, have, uh, who, are, who are making comeback right now. So our actors are new actors and the actors who are making comeback. But we are using uh, a very seasoned director of photography, Philos. Mm. And we, in terms of the storytelling, we, we do locally, we do all the treatment. We have four writers here, myself, Top Ali, Khalil, and Zailan. And we have other uh, panel, story panel who help us in the story. But the story, once we have the treatment, 102 scenes, we send it over to London, have a one writer who sharpen it and, and making it compact. And then we send it over to Jakarta to, have, uh, to, tra to be translated, to have a shorter phrases. Mm -hmm. And then only we come back to Malaysia and then we Malayunize it again. Right. Yeah. About Malayuizing things and mm. also about uh, writing scripts now. Mm. Apparently, according to Hassan Mutalib, and okay. you know Hassan Mutalib, yes, he's yeah. the godfather of animation yeah. Malaysia. He says, um, we don't have enough good script writers in the country. Do you think so? It depends on... Uh, um, uh, very difficult to answer, but I think... Uh, the answer will be found on the on the chart of the box office film chart. Mm -hmm. If a lot of film sells, that means we have a lot of good script writers. Right. Mm -hmm. Are you happy with the way uh, the movie scene is going here in Malaysia? Movie scene in Malaysia. Yeah, right. Yeah, I think a lot more to be improved. A lot more to be improved. Yeah. If there's one area we can improve at this point, what yeah. would that Story area telling. be? Storytelling. 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 So everyone should focus a little bit more on storytelling, learn the craft, so to speak. Yeah, understand the storytelling. Mm -hmm. uh, what I'm saying is, um, 
a lot of movie hits in the world and then what we need to do is just look into the movie and dissect it and, and learn from them from their perspective right That's on that note we've got a website uh, mm. the, where where you uh, work with a lot of things there within mm. that website we're going to mm. put that we website up All right. of course and uh, if uh, one is waiting to watch that movie mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be happening next year now yeah. what's your hopes and dreams with regards to the movie and the future of your projects very quickly we've got about 30 seconds left okay uh, watch the movie and and see whether it help us to to conquer the world mm -hmm. help us to conquer the world because uh, if the movie hits in Malaysia then it opens up a new frontier for us overseas. Mm -hmm. As it is right now, we have got some some interested parties from Korea and also from Australia to look into our movie right. for the commercial release. So what you need is support from us, Malaysians. Yes, Malaysians. On that note, Said Zul Tojo. Thank you, thank very, you much. very much. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure and an honor to have you. Yeah. Thank you. Honor to have you. Not the answer. We don't like terrorists around here.